few years into our marriage and my wife has a one night stand. Now she is asking me about us getting married again. I said, no, but I don't want I don't want it to get to the point where I need to inquire about a restraining order. Oh, you need to. I'm at a loss and emotionally drained. What's going on, everybody? Hope everybody's feeling good. Hope everybody's doing well. We are back with another story post. Guys, I'll put this up on the screen if you want to check it out. But you guys read the title? Let's just get into it. So Reddit relationship advice. My ex-wife wants us to get married again. <laughs> nope. Especially if it has something to... No. Nope. Mm-mm. Don't go back, guys. You do not go back. A little background, me and my ex-wife used to be best friends. We had known each other from primary school to high school, but we started dating in college. She was also friends with my stepsister. A few years later, we got married. A few years into our marriage and my wife has a one night stand. She came clean a few months after she was consumed by guilt. I took some time and even considered reconciliation and I tried, but the thoughts of never trusting her again ate me away. And also the images of them together affected my intimacy with her. So I decided to end our marriage, but my wife took it hard. She broke down into tears and blamed herself really hard. She was also consumed with guilt and shame. And she promised herself and me that she was never going to sleep with anyone else. We remained friends and I started dating. Nothing serious, but I did see other women. All this time, my wife was never involved with anyone. That's what you think. How do I know this? Well, me and my stepsister are really close and really close and we tell each other everything. My stepsister and my ex are, are still remain friends and I trust my stepsister 100%. And also because my wife decided to become religious and joined a church. After some three years of being single and dating casually, I still had a part that really loved my ex-wife. And I have to say, my ex-wife was pretty jealous of the women I dated, and it really hurt her. So we started getting it in with no strings attached. Ooh, this is where you go wrong, sir. But eventually, we started dating again because our feelings for each other were still there. So I've been dating my ex-wife for a little over three years, and now she is asking me about us getting married again. I said no, but it has been coming up for the last three months, which turns into a little argument. But I have told her, I don't want marriage, but now her parents, my parents, say that we should remarry. I don't know how to tell them that I don't want marriage without being rude while they keep insisting. I'm happy to call her my partner, but not my wife. So what are your thoughts on this one? Well, I'll tell you my thoughts on this one. Well, my thoughts on this, you are crazy for sleeping with your ex-wife. You're, you have lost your mind, sir. That is something you don't do. You're rewarding her bad behavior by doing this to you. It's, Man, I'm getting what I want. I still casually date other women and yeah, I'm dating her. All she's doing, she's reeling you in little by little. Think about it. In the beginning, you're like, no way. I don't want anything with you. Stop talking to me. Then you start talking. Then the talking leads to, well, we just get it in casually. You're getting it in. Now, all of a sudden you're dating. Sir, what do you think is coming next? You should have known she was going to ask you to marry her. And I'm going to be honest here. It sounds like you will e eventually marry her. That's what it sounds like. It's quite sad, actually. This woman had a one night stand with some random person or whoever it was. You shouldn't even be dealing with her. I don't, she has not changed. She's religious now. Really? Really? 
And you saying that, oh, I know she hadn't been sleeping with anybody else because my stepsister said so. You have no idea how strong the girl code is. I'm going to tell you guys something. That girl code is a lot tighter than the bro code. We may go around screaming we should have bro code or it, it's the bro code. But I've seen more guys go against guys versus girls going against girls. They will lie through their teeth. I don't care if it's your family member. She will lie for your ex-wife all day long that's so sad to say but it's the truth you remarry her she's gonna do it again you're just gonna do it again she wants the stability you gave her why are you rewarding this woman who had a one night stand come on man guys we gotta do better we gotta do better let's check out the comments i think the next time it comes up if it's anyone who isn't her, you say, I don't want to be rude, but this is private between ex-wife and myself. If they push you, if they push, you can say again, I don't want to be rude, but I'm not discussing this with you. Yeah, and maybe convey to her that you want a partnership and not a marriage. Be super clear with what ex exact your expectations are. I understand where you are coming from, even if you're moving past her betrayal. She did betray you. I don't think you're wrong for not wanting to get married. She would be pushing you to it, especially if they know how much you were hurt. They have no right to rush, push, or be angry about it. That you're, that you're back with your ex is a big step on its own. It's a big step. I want to know, guys, Keep be honest with me. Get in the comments and be completely honest. Because I know a lot of some of you guys, I don't know how what percentage of the listeners but i know a percentage of you guys are married and are in relationships have any of you guys taken your wife back has anybody ever done anything because do people really remarry after she cheated and i mean after she cheated or anything like that i've made the mistake of going back to someone i wasn't we weren't married i went back to someone who did me wrong but I couldn't imagine remarrying a person I divorced after they had a one night stand. Come on, that's ridiculous. Let's check out another story. Reddit single dads. Ex-wife keeps showing up unannounced. It's been over two years since I've had full custody of our three sons. Their mom has made very little effort to maintain anything close to a parenting relationship with them and goes months between even trying to call them. Due to this and the way our marriage ended, infidelity, infidelity on her part, my son, 17, 15, and 10, refused to talk to her, let alone see her. I've done everything I can to talk to her about working things out between her and the kids. I've offered help, advice, suggest, suggested a parenting plan, schedule, even went as far as offering to talk to my kids about her having a new boyfriend. But nope, she refuses to talk to me and only wants to do things her way. When it's convenient for her, her new tactic is showing up unannounced. Out of the blue, at our house. Every time I tell her that she needs to call before coming over and if she wants to have a constructive relationship with the kids, that we need to have a talk beforehand. She always just blows up, vilifying me, boasts about her new life and complains about paying child support. I'm at a loss on what to do. It hasn't gotten to the point of violence, but it always has a negative, negative effect on my kids. I don't want... I don't want it to get to the point where I need to inquire about a restraining order. Oh, you need to. I'm at a loss and emotionally drained. The battle never ends, guys. You need to get a restraining order. Your kids don't like her. You don't like her. She's showing up unannounced. She shouldn't be doing that. I have to pay child support. You know how many men have to pay child support? Let's not talk about these celebrities who have to pay a ridiculous amount of money. And I can't stand when people say, Oh, it doesn't matter. That celebrity is a millionaire. He can afford $200,000 a month. Who needs $200,000 a month? 
You know all that's not being spent on the kid or kids. It's being spent on her. The woman who betrayed him. He has to pay her? She didn't hit the jackpot. It's ridiculous. And this woman is complaining, oh, I have to pay child support. Okay? And then you're boasting about your new life and your new boy. Come on. This woman's ridiculous. Get a restraining order on this woman. She should not be popping up unannounced. The kids don't want her. She's making the kids very uncomfortable. You got to think about your kids, man. Let's check out these comments. Get an emergency, no contact order. The only way to establish boundaries here, it sounds like, is legally. That sounds like a nuclear option. There has to be a better way. I have no idea what that could be, though. Nah, go nuclear. If that's a nuclear option, do it. He's tried to establish clear boundaries that she refuses to respect, despite the detriment to the kids. Getting a legal agreement in place is hardly a nuclear option. It's the only intelligent option. I love that. Also, to be clear, the no contact will give him time to file a legal agreement. Then, if she violates their consequences... Dude, no. He needs a legal agreement in place. These are standard and everyone should have one. I'll back this. By the sound of things, you've gone to extreme lengths to get her involved in her kids' lives. Turning up unannounced would not be okay at the best of times. Handle your business, brother. My lawyer suggested I send my ex a no trespassing notice after she was showing up unannounced to harass my wife. I wrote on the one I sent unless previously arranged to allow for her picking up the kids. You can find them online, print, and then send using certified mail. Dude, get a doorbell with a camera and just don't open the door when she shows up unannounced. Trespass her from your property. If you don't, this behavior is only going to escalate. Keep the door locked and don't answer when it's her. Attempt no trespassing options. Have the police talk to her about it in harassment. Then proceed with a no contact order. Doing any of these steps will likely cause the situation to flare up and make your life temporarily worse. However, getting a real solution to the matter will significantly improve your mental well-being. I really hope you get some distance so you can recharge. Best of luck. Guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments. Guys, they come crawling back. Heisman. Stiff arm. No. You can't come back. It's over. Guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments. Catch you guys at the next one.